from driverless automobiles right through to cutting edge virtual reality, we have seen some very impressive technology here at the 5G Live Demo Zone. If there is, for example, an accident in the road, like you saw that that first car stopped based on its own local sensors in order not to collide, of course. But you saw that the others as well adapted their speeds and positions in order to keep this topology stable and they, they will always go the, the junction properly. What we've done is taken the Skype founders and taken robotics from the Mars Explorer and those type of vehicles and turned it into a local delivery robot. It's very green, it uses very little energy, it comes from a local hub to your home on pavement at four miles an hour to deliver the products to your home that normally would come to you via some type of package delivery service. We're demoing a way how to uh, basically connect phones which are with our own uh, Thames Pocket software and uh, you can do uh, fly testing in a way. It's basically drive testing for network but in the air, especially for special events when you have uh, big special events and you have to walk the whole area and uh, instead of walking the whole area, you can cover massive areas with a drone. We have, if you like, our antenna front ends here. Um, each one of these is an antenna. You would run one of these onto a roof, okay, and serve one user, one remote user, but not too far away. And then you would add another one on some other building, where it, whichever was convenient for a second user, and you keep doing this, and you grow your network as your demand increases, rather than an expensive satellite installation or a cellular network tower. The thing that makes Vive so amazing is that it's tracking your movements so accurately that there's no time for your brain to think, oh, I'm not really here. The video keeps up with you, the movement keeps up with you, so it really convinces you that you're in that world. Even if the world isn't massively high resolution or, or realistic, uh, your brain will tell you it is. So you may end up leaning on something that's not really there. Uh, it, it just it feels extremely real.